and people don't have to die. And then, what if a dozen FBI agents broke down your door, swore to automatic rifles, handcuffed you, and without leaving you your rights, threw you in a jail cell for four days without even a phone call? How then could you expose the lies? How then could you reclaim your rights? What would you do to save lives? Because we're all being lied to. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and greet Dr.
So now we have two vaccines that are really quite effective. The mRNA vaccine, highly effective, extraordinarily efficacious, 94 to 95 percent for mild to moderate disease and virtually 100 percent efficacious because the real world effectiveness is even more impressive than the results of the clinical trial. Study that came out on September 30th. 
read off the Subramanian. This study was of 68 nations and 2,947 counties across America. You know what they found? They found that the more vaccinated you are, not only did you not get protected against transmission from COVID, you had a slight positive correlation. If you took the shot, you were slightly more likely to get the virus. Okay, again, September 30th, 2021, Harvard School of Public Health lead author Subramanian for whoever wants to look that up. Number three, the vaccinated acquire and transmit the virus easily to both the vaccinated and the normals. Lead author Chow from Oxford and lead author Liu from Japan. Number four, if you've already had COVID, I saw the raise of hands, it looked like half the room. You have and you will continue to be immune. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Lead off the Gazette, Tel Aviv, there's many studies that show that. Fifth fact, if you are vaccinated, your risk of catching the virus is the same or a little higher than a person who's not been vaccinated. The good news is Delta is also overwhelmingly recoverable. You should not be living in fear. Absolutely not. And the best news is that early treatment will continue to work. Early treatment, hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, and others always would sink. Now, by the way, none of this is surprising, the fact that the shots don't work. Why? because the shots were never approved to stop transmission. And now we have the proof. On November 2020, Dr. Corey, who oversaw the vaccine trials for the NIH COVID-19 Prevention Network said, quote, the vaccines aren't designed to assess transmission. They don't even ask that question. Do you understand what a lie this has been from the beginning? Did you know that when the vaccines went through their trials, they never even assessed them for stopping transmission? They were authorized by the FDA knowing that they were not assessed for this. And now we find ourselves here a year later. Not a surprise that they don't stop transmission. We knew it since the beginning. Now, what does all this mean? I am a doctor and a lawyer after all, not just a doctor. I'm here to tell you that you must accept that medical tyranny is just the mechanism, the means to control us. It could have been religious tyranny or economic tyranny. It happens to be medical. But as a doctor and a lawyer, I happen to have some special expertise. But you must not obsess over the medical. You must start worrying only about the tyranny. The reason, the reason, Why you're here, you know this. The reason the communists decided to use medical tyranny over other forms of tyranny is it's the most effective. It's silent, it's stealth, it causes great fear and cowardice, it causes a hyper-reliance on authority, and it distracts people from the real enemy. The vax think their enemy are the normals, and the normals think their enemy are the vaxxed. But a mutual enemy are the tyrannical overlords who want to divide and conquer both groups. They pit black against white, male against female, rich against poor. Vaxxed and normals are just another exploitable division. Now that you know the facts, turn your attention to the real enemy the real war. Vaccine mandates are a Chinese communist tool in the infrastructure to control you and me. Let me give you a specific example how this will look in your life. I went to a Dodgers game recently. I made a light fuss at the entrance requiring masks. It was just a light fuss, I promise, because I had decided ahead of time I'm just going to comply to get through. Nonetheless, I was not perfectly in line with the other sheep. We stopped to get a drink and we paid with a credit card, and that's when the effectiveness of total social control hit me. Imagine if that misbehaving that I did, being mildly resistant to wearing the mask, 
resulted in a bureaucrat flipping a switch and 10 minutes later my credit card's not working. Once digital currency replaces hard currency, any deviation from the communist plan becomes impossible. Vaccine passports are the first step towards passport everything, including digital currency. As we know, Europe passed the Green Pass, which is now being converted and has been converted to be used for the vaccine and testing. This is what I'm talking about. Once you have the mechanism in place, tyrants and bureaucrats will add to it, tightening the control over you and me. That will keep all the pesky non-sheep in line. So if we don't win this fight to maintain our individual rights, including the right to not be tracked, to be anonymous, we will soon lose all human freedom. Another example, in case you think this is too far-fetched, is, is my own life. As you saw, I was arrested on January 18th. Eventually, because I've lost my right to a speedy trial or a jury trial, <laughs> eventually I will have my day in court. But let me tell you what has happened to me since the arrest. I was illegally put on a no-fly list. A private person who loaned me a plane has been personally severely harassed. The plane I was on was illegally searched. I was threatened by Department of Homeland Security for possibly drugs on board. Let me go on the record now and say, if they try that again, good luck. Yeah. I was removed from the no-fly list, but now whenever I go to the airport hours ahead of time, I'm subject to extensive searching, which TSA can repeat over and over again, ensuring I miss my flight. My security team was and continues to be subject to the same persecution. My minor son is subject to the same persecution. He was asleep in bed somewhere else on January 6th. Uh, one bank account was canceled. Another bank account was canceled. My professional certification as a physician was threatened. My professional certification as an attorney was threatened. Amazon threatened and then deleted our website. Telemedicine was threatened and our pharmacies were threatened. Now, I share these details with you to highlight that none of these punishments came from a judge or a jury or even a trial. None really even came from a person. I am able to be punished by a bureaucratic state that is doing the overlord's bidding. You will comply or a bureaucratic computer will destroy your life. That's the future if we don't win. Now. Now having 1% control 99%, it's not by having more policemen. This will not look like Nazi Germany. This version of fascism will be bureaucratic social control. Now, I'm jumping ahead so you can really internalize what's at stake. And you, my friends, are my fellow warriors. We are on the front line. So do not obsess about the shots. Understand what the fight is. Once you understand that you are fighting against a communist takeover of our great nation, let your inner warrior out! Two years that I would ever be standing up 
advocated for homeschooling because it wasn't my issue. But it's very clear. Thank God we still have an unfettered right to homeschool children. Nations that are further along on the communist path than we are prohibit homeschooling because that would allow parental love and filial obligation to flourish. When children belong to the state, of course parents cannot be their educators. Never did you and I think that children would be turned against God, country, and family by the schools. But that is exactly what is happening. You must leave the public school system. It must be bankrupted. This I think about this because it's something everyone can do. Everyone can do this. You must do this for your own sake and for the nation's sake. Communist Lenin said, give me four years to teach the children and the seed I have sown will never be uprooted. Give us the child for eight years and it will be a communist forever. Destroy the family, you destroy the country. If you do not pull your children or grandchildren out, the odds of your children having the same value system as you is, is tiny, maybe 10%, because young people are heavily influenced by the social environment. How heartbroken will you be to lose your son and daughter to communism? Most of you who do not pull your children out will face this very lonely, very heartbreaking situation in a few years. I've seen it repeatedly. Lenin also said, we must rescue children from the harmful influence of the family. We must nationalize them. From the earliest days of their little lives, they must find themselves under the beneficent influence of communist schools to oblige the mother to give her child to the Soviet state. In addition to vastly improving the odds of a strong family relationship for yourself, the second benefit is for your nation. Children who are homeschooled do not go on to become enemies of the state. <laughs> That's for sure. So what are the obstacles? People say, I don't have time, or I don't know enough, or I can't afford it. It is a new day in homeschooling. This doesn't mean you have to sit and teach your child algebra. There's tons of online resources. The real thing that's going on is, is getting over the discomfort. Maybe you've never thought about it. Maybe it just seems overwhelming. Once you overcome that obstacle, the rest is easy. Homeschooling has doubled from 5.5 to 11% this year. Right? Parents saw, parents saw the garbage that the kids were being fed. So, stop the children from ingesting poison. Stop holding out your own convenience as the reason to not homeschool. Stop making excuses. Save your children, and in the process, you will help the nation. Now, the second idea that every person needs to consider is that there really are no blue states. There are just blue cities. Strongly consider moving to a non-city. It turns out size does matter. <laughs> and you want less of it. Move to less dense areas, and when you do, get to know your sheriff. Yeah. Woo. America's Frontline Doctors is your partner against the tyranny. We are your freedom fighters. We are the real ACLU. We are fighting for your constitutional freedom. We are fighting for your civil rights.
we are working to secure your rights to speak freely. And to be informed independently. We've committed our careers and our lives to protect you. Your families and your freedom. We will continue to stand for liberty. We will continue to speak the truth. We are dedicated. We are united. We are America's frontline doctors. fire you. 
but your best option is to not quit because when we win a lawsuit you will have a much better claim than if you walked out on your own volition. Do not quit. Number two, when you're having conversations with people, stop talking about the facts. Nobody cares anymore about the facts. Talk only about freedom. Get the vaccinated and the normals together against tyranny. Stop talking about the facts. You can go to one of our websites, which is called Stop Medical Apartheid or Stop Mad. Org. This is all about freedom and tyranny, it's not about the shots. Three, now that you see how severe the problem is, they're really coming after you to kill you literally or figuratively by taking away your freedom. Go on the offensive, don't be shy. Engage in civil disobedience. Have walkouts from work. We've seen this all over social media. That should be you. Please consider, of course, becoming a paying member of America's Frontline Doctors. We are your freedom fighters. We just set up, we thank you so much, text AFLDS to 80990 and join us. Of course we welcome paying members, but we're happy to have you if you don't pay a dime. We are here to represent all Americans. Consider leaving the public schools, consider moving to a lower population density area, and really importantly, being joyful. They're trying to spread misery. People in communist nations everywhere are miserable. They walk with their head down. They don't look you in the eye. They're miserable. That's part of the strategy. If you're miserable, you don't have energy to fight. So be joyful. There are many ways to fight with joy. Yes. And no, we're not all bad 